Hi there, so in this video we're going to look at the impact that you might have uh, importing a raw mock grade into Connect. So I'm in the subject overview, I've got two grade points selected. The first one is the raw mock grade, so I've asked my data manager to pop into Connect as a grade point the raw mocks. Um, it's very blue, you might expect that. Uh, it is a mock grade. The second one is the teacher uh, predicted grade as a result of that mock period, which is looking a lot redder. So my question is, how much redder? And is that uh, a reasonable uh, jump between the two grade points? Now, a good way to look at that jump, and I'm talking about the difference in the scores here, which you can visually see there. But if you pop home and into the monitoring accuracy area, then you actually get that difference um, shown here. So if I can just sort then by lowest to highest, I've got quite a number of subjects at the top who are suggesting that their students are going to make a grade higher uh, a difference or they're going to uh, increase by a grade per student between the current mocks and the predicted endpoint. So 0.2 is a grade. So biology there are saying that 0.23 is going to be the gap. Now let's just pop into the biology page because I've got some questions that I potentially need to ask about the steepness or the gradient of that line. Um, I can add my, uh, I can superimpose onto that graph the two teaching sets. So here's the first one, a seven to a five, realistic possibly, more so than the, uh, the other uh, jump. So this one, set two, wow, um, a grade seven to a grade one. So 13b2, the predicting in that group is of real concern to me. So what I'm going to do is going to head back to that subject overview and then pop into biology and then look at that teaching set. So it's this fella here, okay? Let's pop in there and then I can look at my students and I can look at what they're being predicted um, as a result of um, the latest monitoring point. So really, really aspirational. Um, and then what I can do is I can just start to ask questions of those individual students in that group. So for example, is that realistic? If I sort by prior attainment, um, you know, there's a couple of A's down here. Is that realistic? Um, it doesn't answer the questions, but allows you to ask them. So I hope that's been um, of use to you, um, but I would certainly recommend getting some raw mock data in there so that you can look at those differences and identify the questions to ask. Thank you.